I'm midway through the cleaning of my dissolution vessels. They've been in the oven at 180 degrees in hydrochloric acid. Now I need to remove the vessels in their Teflon inserts from these steel jackets. This is the Teflon insert that holds our clean microcapsules. I'm going to just going to wipe off the corrosion from the surfaces and we'll give these a more thorough cleaning when we get into the clean lab. We're in the clean lab now and here's our dissolution vessel containing our microcapsules. The Teflon jacket is sealed because as it cools, the vapor pressure decreases and self-seals. I'm just going to use an old insert to gently tap on the top and then use a piece of parafilm to twist and break the seal. I'm going to bring this over to the clean bench to open it up. We're going to be working under the, the laminar flow bench here. Uh, the interior of the laminar flow hood or bench is a very clean environment. It takes room air, which is already HEPA filtered, puts it across another HEPA filter, and then in vertical laminar flow. This would be a, the equivalent of a class one clean lab inside the space. We're halfway through cleaning our microcapsules. We do a four step cleaning, alternating hydrochloric acid and hydrofluoric acid. Right now, these capsules are in hydrochloric acid. I'm going to take that out, rinse them, and then add new hydrofluoric acid for the final step of cleaning. I'm going to lift the assembly of microcapsules out and disassemble the three pucks. Each puck holds five capsules for a total of 15. I can discard the hydrochloric acid, rinsing the inside with clean water. And now I'm going to empty the contents of each capsule. You'll notice as I take the lids off that I'm being very careful not to pass my hand or arm over the tops of the capsules. I'm discarding the hydrochloric acid and again use clean water to rinse each capsule and discard. I can now add clean fresh hydrofluoric acid again being careful not to wave anything over the pucks. I'm also working at arm's length, keeping my body out of the hood to maintain the clean environment. I'm now going to reassemble the pucks in, on their stem, place them back in the insert with, again, hydrofluoric acid. We have to add what we call moat acid to the insert. This provides a reservoir of liquid which will vaporize once this is at temperature and pressure in the oven and maintain a vapor pressure over the acid in each capsule. The lids on the capsules are only very loosely fitted and so that vapor can transfer between the moat and the capsules. I'm going to add approximately seven milliliters of hydrofluoric acid to the moat. I'm just measuring that out in this beaker. Added to the insert and now I'll reassemble my pucks. put it back in the liner.